Hey guys, this is Bridget from the DeVay Homestead. Welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a hat using a seed stitch for the body and a rib stitch for the brim. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. To begin our hat, I'm going to use a cast on called the double E wrap method. You can use whatever cast on you feel more comfortable with. To do our double E wrap cast on, we're going to make a slip knot and place that on our anchor peg. We're going to double E wrap each peg and knit off. Double E wrap and knit off. We want to knit all the way around the, our loom and then we're ready to start our brim. So finish your cast on and meet me back here. Once your cast on is complete, we're ready to start the brim of the hat. Today I'm going to be using an E-wrap rib stitch brim. I'm going to do six rows of a knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, and I'm just going to repeat that pattern all the way around for six rows. To do our E-wrap knit, we're going to come to the back of the peg and E-wrap our peg, but I'm not going to knit it off. I'm going to wait and till I finish the whole row and then I'm going to come back and knit them all off. That way if I leave my project I can come back and see where I'm at. So knit, purl. To purl we're going to take our hook and we're going to bring it underneath the loop that is on the peg and we're going to scoop up our working yarn. We're going to take this old loop off the peg and put the new loop on and gently pull. So E-wrap for our knit stitch and purl. And I'm just going to continue this all around. Once I finish my first row, you can go ahead and take your starting yarn off the anchor peg and push that to the back and we'll weave that in at the end of the project. Now I'm going to go back and knit off every loop that has two, every peg that has two loops on the peg. And then my first row will be finished and I'm going to continue on for five more rows. So finish your rib stitch brim and meet me back here and then we'll learn the seed stitch. I just finished up the six rows for the brim of our hat and now we're going to start our seed stitch. So our seed stitch is super super easy. So for our brim we did knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. Well the seed stitch is an alternating between purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, all the way around and then the next round we will do knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one just like we did on the brim of our hat. So those two rows of the purl one, knit one, and then the knit one, purl one, will just repeat until you get the length of your hat. So to start off, we're just going to do purl one, same as before, our E-wrap stitch, Purl one, E-wrap for our knit stitch, and repeat that all the way around and then knit off your two loops. That's, that's as simple as that. You're just going to alternate between the purl one, knit one for one row, and then knit one, purl one for one row, and just keep repeating that two row repeat until you get the length of your hat. And then meet me back here. I just finished up my seed stitch hat. Once I finished my pattern to the length I wanted, I went around one time and did one row of our E-wrap knit stitch. That way it helps our drawstring bind off a little bit better. So now I'm going to start my drawstring cast off.
Once we finish our drawstring bind off, we also want to weave in the yarn we started with from the beginning. I'm gonna thread that onto my, my yarn needle. And I wanna weave it in just a little bit away from the edge. And then I'm going to find a loop and secure it by making a knot. And then weave in my tail. cut off my excess yarn and then our hat is complete. So we're going to turn it inside out and our seed stitch hat is complete. So you can see it has a nice nice pattern to it. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel so you can see more Thanks. Have a great day.